Hello everyone, as I'm sure you've seen by now, the Star Wars Battlefront 2 official trailer was released today, and I did a reaction to it on my channel if you want to go check that out. But now we're going to be scrolling through EA's official Star Wars Battlefront 2 website and learning everything we know about Star Wars Battlefront 2. So this first home overview says Master Your Hero's Journey. The prequels, original trilogy, and new era meet in an expanded multiplayer experience in galactic scale space combat. Play iconic heroes that bring distinct abilities to the battlefront, or join the fight in an emotionally gripping single player story. Your Star Wars hero's journey has begun. So that's just saying what you can expect with the game. If we move on to the single player area, it says a soldier's untold story. Forge a new path as Iden Versio, commander of Inferno Squad, an Imperial Special Forces unit equally lethal on the ground and in space, encounter many of Star Wars' greatest characters in a story of revenge, betrayal, and redemption that spans 30 years. So what we know about the campaign for this game is that it is canon, so it actually happens in the Star Wars universe, so it's not made up. It's going to start with the destruction of the second Death Star above Endor, and in presumably with the attack on Starkiller Base in The Force Awakens. That's what I'm going to guess the first and last missions are. Also in the trailer, there is a shot, a couple shots, which seem to be above Jakku. So we might be able to play the Battle of Jakku, which I've always wanted to see, because I haven't read the book that it's in, but I've always wanted to see the Battle of Jakku, which you kind of did in Battlefront 1, but not really. And this is our main character, protagonist. Everyone says that they have a problem with her being a woman, because we had Rey and Jin Erso as our two leads in the last two Star Wars movies, but it doesn't really bother me as much. I mean, it could be a guy, it could be a girl, I don't care. It's cool, we're getting a new Star Wars character, and that's always cool. So now we move on to the expanded multiplayer, the Ultimate Battleground. Join up to 40 players in massive multiplayer fights in authentic locations across all eras. Revel in deep, class-based online gameplay, pilot a wide variety of land and air vehicles, and control iconic characters with distinct abilities that can turn the tide of battle. So, as you can see, they're bringing back the class system instead of star cards, which is awesome. I think they said that the classes are Operative, Assault, Specialist, and something else. There's, there are four classes that I know of, I don't remember what the last one was. So that's cool, you can see here Starkiller Base and there's Kylo Ren. This game looks incredible, like it looks beautiful, way better than the last one, and the last one was great. So I can't wait to see gameplay. Now I move on to Space Battles, which is something everyone wanted in the last game. Galactic Scale Space Combat. Wage war in a spectacular space battle scenario. Weave between asteroids, fly across Imperial dockyards, and take down massive capital ships. Pilot renowned crafts like the Millennium Falcon, or Luke Skywalker's Skywalkers, X-Wing and exciting dogfights with up to 24 players. So this may be a revamp of the original Battlefront 2 space battle, which you just dogfight in space and you try to destroy the enemy's capital ships. And with the new graphics, I'm sure that looks incredible. We haven't seen gameplay yet, but I'm sure it looks great. This, these images look great. So yeah, I think that's it there. There was a shot in the trailer which I could, I like, I'll bet money that it's the shield gate from Rogue One, but then it switches to the same thing, but a Star Destroyer is docked to it, which we never saw in Rogue One, but I really hope it's the shield gate, because I want Rogue One content, I want Jin, I want Krennic, I want Cassian, I want all those people, so I hope they put more Rogue One content in. We move now on to characters from every era, the thing everyone is looking forward to. We have Darth Maul here, and he looks incredible in these graphics. This is Iconic Heroes and Villains, play as and against Star Wars' most feared villains and cherished heroes from all three eras, including Kylo Ren, Rey, Darth Maul, Yoda, and many more. Unique, upgradable abilities ensure classic characters bring their distinct powers and personality to the battle. This is something very I find very interesting. It seems like when you're on the battlefield, you'll get a kit or something that lets you be a hero whenever you want to. Like, you can... I think if you're doing well, you get the option to be a hero, but you don't have to activate it until you're ready to be a hero. And then I think maybe you'll be able to pick your hero, and then as you use that hero more across multiple game modes and stuff, your hero's abilities will 
increase and upgrade and get stronger. So if you play Darth Maul in every single game mode, your Darth Maul is going to be the best villain you have. So you can play as him and he'll be stronger than, I don't know, if Count Dooku's in the game, your Darth Maul will be stronger than Count Dooku if you don't play him as much. And I think that's really cool, something I'm really looking forward to. And as we move on two more down, we can see that they're also doing that with the infantry. So we'll see that in a second. This is the split screen co op, which is something the original was also severely lacking. So it says triumph together. Team up with a friend in two player offline split screen play. Earn rewards, customize troopers and heroes, then take your skills and upgrades to the online battleground. Split screen co op available only on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, so it's a console only um, add on, which is expected because you can't do split screen on a computer, that doesn't work. But now they're just bringing back. Oh, excuse me. The old sitting on a couch with your friends in the middle of the night playing Star Wars, which I know I've done multiple times, and it's so much fun doing it with these graphics now. It's going to be amazing. And it looks like you can upgrade also offline, and it'll transfer to multiplayer, which is really cool. This is the exciting stuff. Look at that battle droid. That's awesome. Customize and progress. Your choice, your path. Tailor unique abilities for each hero, trooper, and starfighter to gain the upper hand in battle with Star Wars Battlefront 2's diverse and powerful progression system. The path to victory is yours to decide. So it looks like if you play as the assault class a lot, your assault class will become pa more powerful than your operative class or other classes. So their guns might upgrade, their armor might upgrade. So that's a